Hey guys, if you guys need your dominations, 12 and 0s, Evos, anything to do with online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA on Twitter. The link to his Twitter will be in the description down below. 100% legit and 100% reliable. So be sure to go hit him up now. What is going on guys? It is your boy Buyer2K and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make MT in NBA 2K21, my team. This video is not going to be just like, oh, if you flip cards or blah, 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 blah. Now, I'm going to really break down, I mean, that is part of it, but I'm going to really break down a bunch of different ways that you guys can really start out with like zero MT and work your way all the way up to a million MT. Uh, basically, I mean, it really does take a lot as a no money spent player to really like, you know, push and obviously get your MT levels up. Now, obviously, if you're opening packs, like you're not going to need to worry about making MT all that much. But there is a lot of methods in this game that I think are going to be really helpful for you guys. Um, and I'm going to kind of talk about those today. So if you guys do enjoy this video in any way and any of the tips did help you guys out, do me a favor and leave a like. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Let's talk about if you are if you have zero MT. You're literally, you know, zero MT, just started, you don't know what to do. The first thing that I would talk about, I'm going to talk about is Triple Threat Online. Triple Threat Online is one of the best game modes that you guys can grind to make MT because it is really good between all the wheel spins that you can get, all the spots that you can land in. You could probably make anywhere between 25 to 35k MT an hour. Like, I mean, and that's really like, good. that's really good if you really think about it. All you gotta do is just take some time to grind this mode and this could really get you started. If you don't wanna play online, the mode I highly recommend playing offline to to get MT is actually triple that offline. I know that sounds weird, but if you throw in two bronzes and one good player, you're gonna be getting MT from in-game you're gonna be getting the stuff from the vault which you can get double take packs those give you really good options like those the like the pack outs for them are really good like I'm telling you they are really good you're like almost guaranteed to pull an amethyst when you pull a double take pack out of the vault diamond consumables can give you a good shoot they can give you a good contract or give you a contract both of those can sell for some MT you have the thousand MT the badge packs can hook you up and then you do have the dentist but let's be honest nobody's pulling the dentist anyway so I don't even know why I brought that up these weekly challenges are really good as well. I kind of want to just, you know, this is like a general breakdown in the beginning just to kind of tell you guys how to get started with MT. And then once you have the MT, that's when I'm going to kind of talk about how to really, like, you know, break out and get a lot. So these challenges right here are very good as well. I mean, the spotlights are kind of whatever, but the weekly challenges are really good. This moment challenge for this diamond Kobe shoe could be really good. It's like almost like guaranteed to give you like a 30K shoe. It's just the fact that it is seven minute quarters. That's the only reason why I haven't played it yet. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there one day. But if you are on PS5, make sure you do this challenge as well. It does give you a sharp badge pack, which again, you could potentially pull like Hall of Fame range or something like that. This Kareem, same thing. It's going to give you a Hall of Fame badge, but you're also going to be getting a diamond shoe that could really help you. If you get a good one, you can sell it, make some extra MT, and then you'll be chilling and get ready to actually start flipping some stuff, you know, doing different methods. And this is how you guys are going to be making MT. One last mode I want to actually talk about is probably the most underrated mode as far as to make MT from. And that is actually going to be my team limited. The reason why is there is a bunch of prize packs in every week of limited. I think they show it here. Yeah. So you guys can see there is an NBA finals deluxe pack. There's a draft deluxe possessed double take. There's a Inferno and a Pathian pack all in limited. Now you can only get one per week. Like once you get it, it's not going to be available again. But the thing is, I highly recommend playing and trying to get those packs. Those are really good prize packs that you could potentially pull something really good out of. I've pulled multiple pink diamonds out of these packs. Now, when you say, oh my God, he's a YouTuber, I know. You guys got to understand, I've probably opened up over 400 free prize packs this year. I've done multiple 50 prize pack, pack openings. I've done 101, I think, and I've done like a 61. Trust me, there's a lot of free prize packs I've opened this year between limited triple threat offline locker codes all that sort of fun stuff so like like i said they're free prize packs and i honestly don't think a lot of people even understand that these packs are even in here so i wanted to include that in this video to make sure you guys know that these prize packs could potentially like give you something really good even if it gets you nothing you're still going to be getting like a minimum of like 1500 mt for free so like make sure you guys just do it once you have MT, obviously, this is where you're really going to be able to take it to the next level, right? So the first thing I'm actually going to be talking about is sniping. I want to touch up on sniping just a little bit because sniping is important in this game if you are a no money spent player. Now, I've talked about this in the past, but one of the best things you guys can do is snipe when new promos come out, especially promos like this. The reason why, I mean, you have T-Mac, you have LeBron, you have Ben, you have Kristaps. Now, if you're not that good at sniping, 
This is the number one thing you want to do, okay? T-Mac and LeBron, obviously it would be amazing if you could snipe them. But let's be honest, you're probably not going to snipe a LeBron or a T-Mac. You know what I'm saying? With the amount of people that are going to be looking for opals, you're probably not going to be able to find one. But when you see new promos come out like this, where you have two guys that the intention's on right there, all you want to do is you want to go to the market, you're going to go to Pink Diamond, you're going to go to Theme, and then you're going to select Inferno. And this is where you want to try to snipe these two guys, okay? Like, and, and like that doesn't mean you guys can't snipe for opals, but my point is, is everybody's attention is going to be on those Galaxy opals. So you will be able to snipe either a Ben or a Kristaps if you probably sat here right when the packs came out. Like, that's what I mean. When packs first come out, this is where you guys want to be able to look to invest in cards and flip your MT. I had two Ben Simmons. My first one sold for 100K flat. 100k flat and then the next one immediately sold for 140 i don't know why i got hoed but you guys can see he's ending for like 170k right here so if you were to even invest like right away and just get a ben simmons wait a day throw him up the next day you could have gotten like anywhere between like 180 to 100 or to like 200k so that could have been like an 80k profit right there so that's just kind of what you guys want to do. Kristaps is selling for a little bit cheaper, but even if you were to snipe a Kristaps for 100K and throw him back up, you're still going to be making like 30K MT on the snipe. So it kind of adds up in time, but this is what I'm saying where like sniping is kind of hit or miss for me. That's why I don't really like talking about it too, too much. But when new promos come out, this is really important for you guys to do this. Now, same thing here. I'm going to kind of show you guys um, if I can find it uh, because wh what is it? What is it? What is it? I think... Uh, I think it is throwback moments if I'm not mistaken. So now we need to kind of scroll. No, it's not throwback moments. What, what am I, what am I looking for? Because I feel like I, uh, no, 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 bro. I'm literally going to lose my mind. I, I can't like even remember what I'm looking for here. It, it is throwback moments, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm sorry. It, it is throwback moments. And then you want to actually search by the division. That's, that's my bad. Um, so this, is it central? And it is okay. So Ben Gordon, right? Ben Gordon at this point, this is another one of those cards where if you could have looked to flip him or snipe him right away, you could have made some serious profit. He was selling for around like 350k right when packs came out. And I've actually seen a few people tweet me snipes of them getting this Ben Gordon. So that's really what you guys want to do is when these new promos and stuff are coming out, you really want to take the time, sit on the market, look up for some of these cards and just be patient. Trust me, eventually you'll be able to get one. Like I said, though, I don't really like talking about sniping too, too much. Uh, the only reason why is because that, like, honestly, sniping just, like, it, like I said, it's hit or miss. So, realistically, like, if you're not going to, you know, if you don't have the time to sit here and snipe, I completely get that. Um, so, this is going to be another, like, huge, you know, tip that I think, especially this year, a lot of people are going to overlook. So, and this isn't like a sponsored thing. So before anyone's like, yo, sell out, like not like for real. So if you guys don't have the app Clutch Points or any type of app where it kind of lets you know about games going on, I highly recommend downloading that onto your phone. Reason why is so today, right? There's there's a lot of games going on today. I see the Raptors and the Pacers, Thunder and Clippers, Cavs and Celtics, Hornets, Magic, Wizards, Spurs, Hawks and Bucks, Knicks and Blazers, and Kings and Grizzlies. Well, the Kings and Grizzlies are postponed, but you get the point. So my whole thing is why i'm telling you guys this is this is a great way to invest in cards if you're keeping track of games and stuff like that so for instance right i'm looking at this and say the Cavs and celtics game right i i you know i don't know maybe maybe kemba goes off maybe colin sexton can't guard kemba today right you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go right to my collection i'm gonna go to this one i'm gonna go to the, uh, the uh, celtics i'm gonna go to kemba and i'm gonna show you guys this right now right you guys can see he's going for, you know, almost, a, he is going for a thousand MT, right? If I saw Kemba was having a good game, I'm immediately going to pick up some of these cards and then sit on them until Kemba has a great game. And then I'm going to flip them. And trust me, it's the same thing that happened with Colin Sexton. When he went off in that game, his price, like, like, what is he going for now? His price is what? Probably back down. Yeah. So his price is back down to around a thousand MT. He was selling for around 30 to 40 K because of that game. It's all about being patient with this stuff though, because again, investing in cards is huge. I gave you guys some good tips in the beginning of the year when it came to investing in um, the idol set. 
and it actually paid out for a lot of you guys. Some of you guys tweeted at me were like, yo, I got Grant Hill for 100K. He sold for 370K because of the Grant or because of Chris Weber. And I literally told you guys. Sometimes you have to sit on it, but trust me, like pause. But like if you do that, you're actually gonna end up, you know being very well off, trust me. So investing in cards is huge, especially in moments cards and stuff like that when you you know aren't sure whether a player is gonna get the challenges or not. I highly recommend doing that. So sniping new promos, investing in these random guys that are gonna get in moments, those are like some of the best things you can do for MT in this game. Now one last tip I actually wanna talk about is your collection. This is something that I've talked about in the past. Go through your collection and just sell what you don't use, okay? Now, the reason why I'm keeping all these courts and logos and stuff like that is because, like, I'm probably going to still try to get Tatum one day. I don't really know why. It might just come in handy over the summer and need him for content. Like, I, I don't know, but I'm going to still do it. But my whole thing is what I'm trying to tell you guys is, like, when you take a look at, like, these all these jerseys and stuff like that, like, some of these jerseys can probably sell for a good amount. You know what I'm saying? Like right here, this this Warrior jersey, I mean, it might dip down. Yeah, I was going to say it probably would have like 400. But if you probably sit on this, you could probably sell that one for like 500 MT. You know, this jersey, 500 MT. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like when you think about that, if you just go through each team and just get rid of all these jerseys, you know, you go through your shoes. I quick sell all my shoes that aren't diamond shoes, like as you guys can see, uh, just because there's really no point. I mean, I do keep the, the, like the Curry ones, but I mean, you guys know why. But like... um. Yeah, always go through your collection. Make sure you know you're selling everything. Coaches are a great investment too. I want to point that out. Like, I'm not even joking. The reason why is because whenever there's a thing that's like, oh, buy a Sapphire coach for XP challenges, Sapphire coaches go for like 20K. It, it's really stupid. So, I mean, like one, two, three. So I have three. I literally have all the Sapphire coach. I don't know if Quinn Snyder is a Sapphire or if Taylor Jenkins is one, but you guys get what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, so I mean, like, just go through your collection. And I mean, badges are really good too. I mean, there's a lot of badges that go for a good amount that you may not know of. Like blinders, I mean, that price kind of went down, go figure. But like, if I needed MT like really bad, I could probably sell both of these right now for like 3,500 MT. So that's like 7K just kind of chilling there. And that's just one badge. I mean, there's a bunch of badges. I mean, make sure you guys go through. I mean, if you have a clamps, if you have a, you know, a range, if you have a intimidator even, like there's a lot of badges, trust me, that go for a good amount. And you guys want to make sure that you're going through, making sure, you know, you're just cleaning out your collection every once in a while to get that NT, to do your thing. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys have any questions, be sure to comment them down below. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, peace.